Hello and welcome to this uh, probably final update on my attempts to get more speed out of the carver. Here you can see I'm in the workshop and I'm unboxing two brand new Kelly controllers, the KLS 7030HC controllers. They have exactly the same form factor as the original carver modified Kellys that are installed. I specifically purchased them with the CAN bus and Bluetooth connectivity options. Here you can see that uh, you've got the phase connectors, you've got the heatsink. You have an extra connector, which is interesting. Um, you have three connectors on this model compared to just the two on the one that's installed on the carver. But again, these are the ones that are installed are Kelly controllers, but they have internals designed by carver. Here I am extracting the uh, nine pin DIN converter cable that you need if you want to plug uh, your computer directly into USB. I've got the USB connector already and this is the Bluetooth connector. Unfortunately, neither of these worked. Okay, so new controllers have arrived. So now the job is to remove the old ones. Now dropping the frame out is not going to help us. You can see the screws uh, here. Um, that's not going to help because that whole frame, this part, is um, all part of it. So I think the only way to do it is to undo the four screws that are surrounding each controller and then drop it out. I'm going to have to release this yellow cable first though because that goes into the battery box and there's not much movement on that so I don't think it's going to be you know, enough to let it drop down out the bottom here with that connected. So I'm going to take a few pictures just to make sure that I know where everything is before taking it all apart. Now, pretty sure that this exercise isn't going to work, putting these new controllers in, um, because there's a domino effect. You change the motors, that affects the controllers, the controllers will have some effect on the BMS or the tilting mechanism and everything's very closely integrated. So um, if it doesn't work, we are going to take these shiny new controllers that we've got in here and the new motors which are over here and we're going to build something from scratch which um, should be fun so but anyway let's uh, crack on and uh, yeah, give that five ten percent chance of winning a, a go right onwards and upwards so after installing the one controller on the right which controls the left hub i've got this error on startup Okay, so you saw there the error that I was getting after I installed one of the new Kelly controllers, one on the right hand side that controls the left hub. The error that we're seeing is DVC 30, the dynamic vehicle controller is what's reporting the problem. Uh, CAN bus lost WMC left CAN bus. Now, when you start up the car, it goes through a self test and it appears that it goes out and checks all of the components across the carver to make sure that they're there. Whether it's getting a heartbeat or a specific signal back, uh, I'm not exactly sure. But this is very early on in the startup of the, of the carver itself. So at this point, I'm not even getting any power to the controller. This is evident because I attempted to connect both an Android tablet and a Windows PC to the controller. Uh, firstly, looking for the Bluetooth um, signal. Couldn't see anything there at all. So I don't think there was any power at all reaching the Kelly controller, or at least this error is switching off the power to the Kelly controller. Then I tried plugging in my laptop using the um, DIN connector to USB 
and uh, again couldn't connect just get a warning from the uh, Kelly application saying that uh, there was either a problem with the power to the controller or there was a problem um, with the cable itself but I think we're failing in the self-test very early so this is a showstopper unfortunately without being able to reprogram the original controllers so they can um, talk to the new hub motors I, th I think there's a very basic configuration with the position of the hall sensors 60 90 degree 120 degrees something like that that is fundamentally different between the original wheels and original motors sorry and the new hub motors so um, got a message back from Carver saying that there should be some sort of auto detect but that didn't seem to be happening you might recall from a previous video that I posted saying that when I put the new motors on they behave differently to the original motors the original motors if you press your foot on the accelerator remember this is in the workshop with the rear wheels elevated the motors would detect a difference between the hub, rear hub motors and the front wheel and they would do this um, backwards and forwards motion and you'd be uh, seeing an error on the, the dashboard which is expected behavior when i put the new motors on and press the accelerator they would spin up immediately and not stop uh, even when you released the accelerator they would continue as if they were powered and you had to uh, switch the carver off for the wheels to uh, slow down and stop. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit stuck right now. I don't believe there's any way forward. Everything in, within the design of the carver, every component is very closely uh, integrated right from the startup um, uh, going, going through. So the without being able to reverse engineer the DVC and BMS board that is included, uh, both the dynamic vehicle control, so the tilting control mechanism and BMS are on the same board. So without reverse engineering that, I don't see a way forward at this point. But I'm ready to be proven wrong and I'm sure there are people out there a lot smarter. All I've basically done is taken off old components and put new components on, hoping that it's going to work. So without that um, uh, backdoor access or official access, if Carver were to give it to me, I don't think they're going to, um, and being able to reprogram things, uh, then I don't think we can move forward from this point. Um, if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below in the video. That'd be great. But um, my thinking at the moment is that uh, I might just put the carver back to as it was and enjoy it for what it is. And it's a useful uh, piece of transport for me. So um, I'll go back to enjoying that. And then I'll have a think about what to do with the new five kilowatt motors and Kelly controllers that I've purchased. Um, it would be a shame just to sell them on and, and uh, let somebody else have some fun with them. So I'm, I may, we, with with my mechanic friend, we may build something from scratch. So uh, watch this space. It could, could be interesting. Anyway, if you have been, thank you for watching um, this little series. Uh, I, there may be more, but I doubt it on this particular thread. Um, I may be posting videos about a, a brand new build if, um, if I can fund it. Buying, buying a battery system is, is probably the biggest expense out there. Probably looking about £3,000, I think, for a, a decent uh, battery to power a new project. But anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon. Cheers.